variable speed playback, or trick play, allows media elements to be played back faster or slower than its original recorded speed. This is controlled using the playback rate property of the media element. This is a new property introduced in Silverlight 5 that specifies at what rate we will play back the media. When you have the playback rate set between half speed and twice the speed of the original recording, the audio will play and be pitch corrected. That is, there will be no chipmunk effect when you play it back at twice the normal speed. Silverlight will adjust the pitch so that voices will sound normal, but they will sound like they're being spoken faster or slower than the original recording. Also included in Silverlight 5 is the ability to remote control your media with a remote control or using the media keys on your keyboard. When you press the buttons on your remote control or media keyboard, it will raise the media command event, which we can respond to in our code. Our event handler will be passed an instance of the media command event args, which contains a property named media command, which indicates which command was issued. This is an enumeration which includes commands such as play, skip track, previous track, etc. Let's go ahead and look at a demo to see how we can use variable speed playback and remote control in our media-based applications. Okay, we're back here in our media demos project and we're going to add a new project to our solution to explore the new features in the media element, specifically the variable speed playback. So we're going to add a new project called Trick Play Demo. And all we're going to do in this application is just load up a media file and and add a slider control to it so we can adjust the, the playback rate dynamically as we're playing the video and, and see how that affects the, the, the playback speed as well as the audio, uh, uh, specifically the pitch of the audio as we're playing. So I'm going to add our video here to the project. It's this one right here. I'm going to set the build action to resource. And then on our form, I will add a media element. We'll set the source to our file there. And now I'm going to add the slider at the bottom of the page to control the, the playback rate. You can give that a name so we can uh, get a reference to it later. We'll call it playback rate slider. And I'm going to put that on the bottom of the form. Give it a width of well, about 300 pixels. A little margin so it doesn't look completely terrible. And then we need to set up our boundaries for the value. So I'm going to set the minimum to 0 0.5, which is half speed. I'm going to set the maximum to 2.0, which is double speed. And the value will be 1.0, which is normal playback speed. The range here from half speed to double speed is the acceptable range in the media element when we'll actually get pitch corrected sound uh, with our video playback. Okay, oh, last thing I need to put in there is I want to put a horizontal alignment to have that in the center of the bottom of the screen. All right. Okay, now I just need to hook up the value of that slider and set it up to it so it's controlling the playback rate on our media element. So the new feature in Silverlight 5 of the media element is this playback rate. And this will control the speed at which the, uh, the video is played. So let's set that up as a binding to the value of our playback slider, our playback rate 
slider. Okay, now before I run this, I, I don't want to be talking over the video. It's going to be kind of hard to hear me or the video or both. So I'm going to play this here in just a minute. And I'm going to, you'll see me adjust the playback slider up a little bit so that we're going to speed the video up. And then I'll move it down so we're going to slow the video down. And uh, pay attention to the fact that the, the video is certainly playing faster. And, and take special note of the pitch of the audio. One of the killer features of this new variable sp speed playback in Silverlight 5 is the fact that it pitch corrects the audio. So we're not getting that chipmunk effect. We're not getting the, uh, the really high pitched voices even though we're watching the video at uh, one and a half or, or twice the speed of the original playback. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this and I'll let the uh, intro music play and we'll start listening to him uh, speak at a normal rate and then I'll make it faster and I'll go a little bit slower then. I'm Don Kiley, an independent consultant, an app dev, courseware author, and instructor. Okay, we're going to go faster. I'm working with tech technologies. I ski door, explore whitewater rivers in a kayak or canoe, and help rescue abandoned sled dogs for second chance digging fairbanks. With each new release of SQL Server, now we'll go slower. Makes the product better and bigger, and SQL Server 2012 is no exception. This new version. Again, note the fact that the pitch is still the same. More data scenarios than ever before, while keeping your data more secure, available, and even clear. There are better tools for letting go. He's certainly speaking faster there, but the pitch of his voice is very similar to the pitch of his voice when it was playing back at normal speeds. All right, the other feature I wanted to uh, show you real quick in this demo is the media control, um, the media commands. So if you have a keyboard that has uh, media keys, like the keyboard I'm using now, or if you have a remote control hooked up to your computer, you might want to be able to respond to the key presses or button presses of those devices. Silverlight 5 gives us the ability to do that through the media command event. So let's respond to the media command event in the user control. So we'll create a new event handler for that and move over to our code behind. And you'll see that we have a, an instance of the media command event args coming into our event handler. If we take a look at that, we have a property called media command, which is of type uh, media command. It's an enumeration. So we can compare that to, well, here, let's just do this. Uh, let's take a look if our media command is equal to, we're going to listen for the play and pause. Let's, uh, we need to reference it this way. We'll do uh, systems.windows.media.media command, and we can take a look at the, the, the various different options for the, the media commands that we can receive. So you can see we have channel up, uh, increase and decrease volume, uh, info and menu type things. There's a pause, play, previous track, next track. The one that we're going to look for is the toggle play pause. I have that button on my, uh, or that key on my keyboard here. So I'm going to listen for the toggle play pause command. And then if I receive that, I'm going to pause uh, pause the video as it's playing, if it is playing, um, or, or start playing it if it isn't. And to do that, I'm going to have to go give this a name. I realize I didn't give it a name when I put it in there before. So let's call this just um, My Media. Great. Back over here, we'll take a look at whether or not my media is playing. So we'll look at the current state. And uh, if the current state is playing, 
we will pause the playback. Otherwise, we'll start playing it. Okay, so now as I play this and I hit the media key, it will play and pause the video. Now the one uh, kind of gotcha I want to mention here is that uh, when you're running in browser, it's a lot of times it's difficult for those media keys to get through. So for the sake of this demo here, I'm going to switch the trick play demo to be an out of browser application. And we'll we'll go ahead and run it this way, and I'll talk a little bit about the uh, the gotchas surrounding the the media keys in a moment. So we're running the application here. Let's go full screen, and I'm going to push the play pause button. And there we go. And let me uh, set a break point here. I'll push it again, and you can see that. The immediate command that we're getting is the toggle play pause. The current state of our media is paused, so we're going to go ahead and uh, and start playing again. All right, so that is how we do uh, variable speed playback in Silverlight Five, and and how we use the. Uh, buttons on a remote control connected to a computer or the or the media keys on a multimedia keyboard